Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sora here, and um, welcome back to another video. Uh, I just want to do a quick tutorial on how to level up in the vanilla version of the game in uh, Neptunia Libra 1. I've been spending quite a lot of time on this game, and uh, the painful thing about this game is because it's quite old, and it's not exactly one of the most popular games. Uh, it's actually very hard to find guides like this. Um, there were a few Steam forum posts, they were quite helpful, but other than that, it was quite hard to come across my encyclopedic knowledge and with the grind and things like that. So I thought I'd do this quick video. Uh, this is going to be on the vanilla version of the game. If you have DLCs, especially those that add the uh, high-level Colosseum battles and the one that unlocks your level cap, uh, you're going to want to spam those Colosseum battles, and uh, when I do get DLCs, I'll make a video about that maybe. Uh, but this is vanilla version of the game with the original level 99 level cap, and yeah. So right now, uh, we're already in the Shrat, and I'll show you guys my setup uh, for the characters if you want, uh, in terms of stats and stuff, but I don't think that's really uh, very necessary. So I'm just gonna open up the map here. So as you can see, you can you start uh, you start on is it? yeah you start on this green bit here, and then once you come all the way through the map, there's a giant dogu here, or hyper dimension dogu is called. And uh... oh actually, sorry, sorry about that. Uh, one thing before I forget, uh, you, for this you're gonna need Road to Celestia add enemies on. Uh, you can get a plan by just uh, spamming all the information from, I think it was Planet Chin. Uh, if you go into the information tab, there'll be like one for this plan specifically. And how you get check powers, if you go to Get Forest and make sure uh, add enemies is off for this dungeon. Get Forest is a story mission, so you can't miss it. Uh, there is a flying dolphin looking enemy which drops the check tail material which is what you're going to need to unlock uh, this plan right here for the add enemies. Uh, I will show you guys a slightly lower level version because this one is quite hard especially if you don't have uh, what was it here? Uh, weakened enemies. Uh, all of these are like reckon all the ones I have on right now are recommended but they're not necessary. Uh, weakened enemies just makes it way easier to kill uh, some of these harder enemies though, so I would recommend it. Uh, I think there is one where you can use the destroy symbol art uh, to gain XP without actually fighting. I don't know how to get that, so I'm not using that, I'm actually doing the battles. So yeah, anyway, uh, enough chit chat, let's uh, go ahead and from the save point you want to walk to this guy. And simple attack, whatever, doesn't really matter. And you just want to kill him quickly, so we'll go ahead and do that. Alright, so uh, as you can see, we get 835,919 XP and abysmal amounts of credit and this is with my current setup, which isn't perfect by any means, but um, this is around the level you uh, look to get with double uh, double EXP up. So on my disc, I have gain EXP up level three. I think you can have level four maximum. I'm not sure it's four or five. And obviously, the more EXP thingy uh, you get, the uh, faster is going to go. Also for partner setup, you want anyone with gain EXP plus. This obviously gives you even more XP. Uh, I chose Tekken because uh, she also has some nice... Uh, 
Oh, whoops. Uh, she also has some nice uh, bonuses like null stats decrease, and uh, her assist moves are actually kind of pretty cool. And what I'll do is just put gain EXP on all three of your main characters that you're using to fight, and then uh, save the rest for later, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's the strat for Road to Celestia with um, Road to Celestia with an enemies on. Uh, there is, however, another one that's slightly easier to fight. If you're like lower level, you might want to try this. Is uh, in Neo Geo front. Yeah. So uh, same thing for Neo Geo front. You're gonna want the add enemies uh, on. And after you've done that, there will be like little purple Pikachu guys. Right, let me see, I'm gonna show you guys. So those guys, I'm not actually gonna fight him. Uh, I can tell you with this current setup, it gives about 300k XP. So that's about um, about 40% of what um, the other method is gonna give you. So yeah, uh, other than that. These dragons, by the way, they're not really worth fighting. They give something like 120k XP per, per kill. Uh, uh, they do die a lot easier than the uh, purple Pikachu guys though, so... Uh, keep that in mind. Uh, I would say you can start doing the strategy from around level 55 to 60-ish. And you should really only start doing the Road to Celestia one at about level 70, I reckon. And uh, yeah, so this is the farming spot. I usually go basically all the way to the end, grab the save point if you need to, and then what I'll do is kill this dragon, and ignore the normal enemies if that wasn't obvious already, but uh, kill the purple guy, and then kill the dragon in the other room as well. And that would be about um, 500k XP per run. Uh, whereas the other enemy in Road to Celestia, you can drop the... You can go to a teleporter nearby to grab a giant Doku as well. Or Hyper Dimension Doku, whatever you like to call it. And that the Doku will give you 400k-ish, and the guy I just showed you beating, uh, they'll give you 830k, so it's about 1.2, 1.3 million per run. So it's much faster than the uh, Neo Geo front method, but Rota Celestia enemies are much tougher, I would say. So definitely recommend you to uh, try the Neo Geo front version of the run if you can't quite do the Celestia version. And yeah, that's really all there is about it. I'll go through quickly my uh, stats. So. Uh, this is a new game plus, which is why I have multiple histies bookmarked. And the main the main champion really is uh, Magus. Magus does a lot of damage because you know she has really high int and her uh, EXE drive actually has quite high scaling. Uh, let me see that somewhere. Come on, EXE drive. So the uh, scaling is 829 and there's 20 hits. For those of you who don't know how damage works in this game, each combo hit uh, of the same move increases the damage slightly. So the more hits you do, the more the next hit will do. If that makes sense? Uh, it's not exponential, but do keep in mind that moves with higher uh, like hit count do tend to do more total damage if you know everything lands. So yeah, uh, if you're around level 40 to 50, you can basically go into any zone and use IF's uh, EXE drive, which is actually an AOE attack that does a lot of damage. Uh, especially if you want to grind in the earlier chapters for any reason, uh, IF, when you don't have mages, IF is probably the best way to go. Her EXE drive is uh, an AOE, and... Uh, he... she does pretty good damage. Uh, I think... Uh, if I'm not mistaken, she does something like about a third of what mages will do. If you fully spec out both characters. 
Uh, but other than that, there's not too much to mention. Uh, in terms of money, this is not a good way to get money. You saw me there. Even though I got 825k, uh, the money was something like 11,000. So it's not really worth doing if you're looking for the monies. Uh, I might do a separate guide on the monies. But anyway, uh, no, both in FDA. Pretty cool. Anyway, uh, is there anything else to mention? No, I do not think there is. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, make sure to leave comments if you have any questions. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.